I have fuzzy meat. They sent me fuzzy meat. Today, we are going to break into my first, my very, very first, the keto box. This is uh, a subscription box of items. I don't recall the price offhand, so I'll put it up somewhere around here, but I've never had it before, so I wanted to make sure that I got a good selection of keto snacks to try, especially as I'm getting started. If it's something that I've already tried before, I will walk it through with you guys in terms of a review. If it's something that I've never tried before, then we'll try it together. Let's get started. So keto snacks are pretty pricey and a lot of times they only come in higher bulk uh, numbers. So even if you can get them for a de decent price on Amazon or online, you know that you're taking a pretty big leap of faith. So getting a subscription box like this is sometimes really helpful because you can try everything uh, in a smaller size pay for the convenience of having them kind of um, test drive it for you and then be able to to know a is this a product that I really want to try more of um, and does it fit my macros and am I good with it before you spend big money to get large items in bulk so as you guys know with keto snacks you're paying a premium for uh, often buy for the ingredients for the fact that a lot of these are very small batch made or made from smaller companies and so even when you can get them sort of at a decent price per unit, so even when you can get them at a decent price per unit, like on Amazon or direct from them online, you typically have to buy very large quantities, at least, you know, um, two or three if they're individually sort of wrapped or often, you know, a dozen cookies or something like that. And the hope with getting a subscription box like the Keto Box is that you'll be able to try a bunch of things, see what you like, see if the box is worth it, um, I think it's especially important to be able to try this out when you're very first starting because as you try other things and as you explore other options or as you make recipes at home, you will find you know what resonates with you and what doesn't, what you really want to try more of and what you could pretty much pass on. I think things that are interesting to me are, you know, um, I thought early I would be really into to protein bars, but I barely ever eat them. So it'd be, you know, or it's kind of like the bar idea. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how it kind of nets out. Let's jump in. So I'm gonna go ahead, I haven't removed the tape yet, so bear with me as I try to do this. I will probably, um, you know, Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island discuss. Please feel free to chat in the comments amongst yourselves of your favorite coffee talk topics or other uh, idiosyncratic topics. All right, I think I'm finally getting into it. So uh, I don't recall what this subscription is per month. Uh, I know that I was able to purchase it with PayPal, which was great because that's very convenient for me. Uh, but I will go ahead and put the price of the box and how frequently it comes in the notes. And I may also put it up around here somewhere. So let's jump in. So there's a single piece of tape that kind of covers the box and we will unveil it together. So there's a bunch of goodies in there. I haven't seen really what's there yet. So the first thing that we have up is a Green Chef gift card. Um, I have used a lot of, you know, whether it's been Home Grocer or um, I have used, you know, uh, various other meal kit companies before, but I, I don't believe that I've actually done Green Chef. So this could be interesting, especially because it says that they do keto options. So if that's something that, you know, fits in my budget, I'll probably try it and then let you guys know how that works out. So that's an interesting sort of first, first go. I think I have a pretty uh, busy lifestyle. So being able to get into something, especially because, you know, I've got work and a kid and things going on, um, being able to have healthy ingredients delivered to me is really uh, a hopeful thing. But I would just want to make sure, you know, a lot of times I've seen situations where they say that it's keto, but when you look into it further, there are things that also come with rice or with black beans, or they sort of don't have a side at all. So I'd rather understand more about it before I jump in. Next thing that you've got here is sort of a refer referral card which is fine and then i think this last thing is is showing what's inside the box maybe some coupon codes so i'm going to try not to look at it too much until we jump in so first thing i see here on top are dang coconut chips uh these have really you know pretty great mac macros they are 11 fat 
seven carbs, four dietary fibers, so three net carbs, and one protein. Um, my son loves, who is non-dairy, so has some, some restrictions on what he can eat, um, adores these, and I really love them, interestingly enough, uh, also in my Too Good Coconut, along with some sort of granola-y kind of textural difference. Um, the great thing about Dang Chips is that, especially, you have to be careful because they have started to launch um, new products like a sticky rice, which wouldn't be keto. But for the coconut chips, um, you know, all this ingredient is, is coconut and sea salt. So it's a great thing to pack when you travel. It's a great thing to pack for, for ease to share with your kids or the rest of your family. Um, it goes really well if you're going to make some keto ice cream a little bit on top. Uh, so it's just a really great like textural crunch. Um, you know, one of the things that I miss a lot is acai bowls. And so I think I'm gonna try to find some way to kind of mimic that tart texture with coconut. So keep an eye out, I'll probably come up with some sort of recipe that can kind of mimic that, or maybe I'll make some sort of, um, you know, shake-based ice cream or something that'll allow me to kind of get those flavors going. Uh, so I'm not gonna open it because I actually have a full open bag in my pantry. I can tell you that they are a product that I buy all the time. Uh, I buy them for myself, I buy dang chips for my family, but again, you just want to make sure that you get something with keto facing macros or keto appropriate macros because their sticky rice, which my son eats and my husband eats, but I don't, um, are, uh, are sort of off limits for keto. So the next thing I'm picking up here is a goodies cookie, um, uh, baking mix. I actually haven't tried anything from Goodies. I've heard really great things, but they're pricey. Each one of these is around nine or ten dollars usually. So, I mean, um, you know, that's like half the cost of this box right there. So that's a pretty great option. So uh, basically the macros base for just the mix are um, seven grams of fat. And this is for, it makes one twelve, so it makes about a dozen cookies. Uh, so seven grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, two fiber, seven sugar alcohol. So you're talking about really one net carb per cookie. Let's look at the other ingredients. So it's erythritol sweetened. So that's gonna have a pretty low, minimal, not at all effect on your insulin um, and your glucose reaction. So that's great. Uh, and you know, it's sweetened also with stevia. So it's probably gonna have a little bit of that aftertaste, but hopefully not too bad. I always do find that when things have mixes of the uh, different types of sweeteners, whether it's erythritol or Splenda or xylitol, always watch out for xylitol if you have pets, especially dogs. Um, you know, I find that that gives you a better flavor with less of the downsides of each of them. Um, you know, erythritol can make things kind of feel cold or taste cold for lack of a better word. Um, Splenda has a bit of an aftertaste. So finding a good mix of those is usually a better product in my experience. So I will totally try these. Um, I don't know if I'll bake them up today. What I'll probably do is just uh, put on either in the uh, notes of this video or maybe I'll film a little thing extra at the end um, just what my reaction to this was because it's something that I would want to make sure other members of my family are I can take to work or something because since I'm the only keto eater in my family and I do have a couple ready baked treats already that I made recently or that I, I got recently um, I don't want to add to that collection until I'm ready to consume them um, but yeah butter pecan cookies I'm a big fan of butter pecan so Pecan, pecan. Are you a pecan or are you a pecant? Pecant, pecant, pecan, pecan. Whatever you're into, uh, it, it'll be something that'll be really great. And if you've tried these, let me know, you know which of these you, you like from goodies. Um, but I'm really excited to try that. So that's a, that's a really good item to get inside this. The next thing that uh, I'm pulling out, which I actually have also had before, is the high key mini cookies. Um, these, when I very first started at the beginning of last month, I went onto Amazon and I looked for the highest rated, um, customer rated snack that was in, um, in sort of a keto snack listing. And this was one of the very, very top. And it is, uh, just, I'll go through the macros real quick. It's, you get two mini cookies. I might just eat them because they're really good. I do really like, I have an open one in my fridge. Um, so I probably don't need to jump into this. 
I really kind of want to though. They're really good. I highly recommend them. Um, but the, the macros are, we've got um, 13 fat, six saturated of that, which is fine. Um, total carbs are 11, dietary fiber is two, and then erythritol, which I love when they, um, on the nutrition facts, say exactly where the sugar alcohol is coming from, uh, is seven. So you're talking about really two uh, net carbs per two cookies, uh, which is, or actually six, six cookies, about two servings to, per bag, um, and then serving size about six pieces. I've been eating less of these than I probably could have. That's a it's a failure on my part, let me tell you. Um, I can't share this with the rest of my family because it does have milk in it um, and they have some dietary restrictions, uh, but it's almond flour, natural sweetener, which is a mix. Again, I always love when it's a mix of erythritol, monk fruit, um, stevia. There's also stevia sweetened and erythritol sweetened chocolate chips, coconut oil, butter, prebiotic fiber, eggs, um, xanthan gum, so hydrolyzed, hyd I should have just skipped to this one, Hydro hydrolyzed collagen, hydrolyzed collagen is within these, um, but they're really delicious, they're great if you are sort of wanting that kind of, in terms of texture, I'll just actually just, I have no willpower, um, I'll just open it up even just to show you uh, the texture because I think it's important that you kind of can make judgments about your cookies. Uh, there are others that I also have had, um, things like um, fat snacks are very, or mosquito are kind of more moist. These are more of like your your crunchier little sort of famous Amosy kind of vibe uh, cookies. Oh my God, they're so good. They're like, they're crumbly, they're a little bite-sized. They have that like slightly after cooling from the erythritol, but it's um they're a delight and um, I think that they are one of the less sort of after tasty kind of treats out there, so I highly recommend them. Um, again, but the company is Heike. Um, if there's a discount on any of the codes, I'll, I don't know if I'm allowed to share them. There is a discount. I don't know if I'm allowed to share them. I don't, I'm not an affiliate of Keto Box or anything like that, but I highly do uh, recommend getting these ones. Uh, jumping back in, Skinny Salami, which that sounds pretty awesome. I'm a big salami fan. Um, single pack spicy pork chorizo mini salami. Um, so let's take a look here. So artisanal Skinny Salami macros are Two grams of fat, that's actually really low for a salami stick, but that's cool. Less than one gram of carbs, six protein. Um, ingredients, pork, paprika, sea salt, so great ingredients. Um, there is diet, so uh, my camera turned off. It was apparently so mad at these. Um, so we were going over the skinny salamis, um, and I pulled it out of the package with you guys here, and it's like moldy on the ends. Let me see if I can get it to focus. It's like got this white fuzzy mold on it. It kind of looks like a dog treat. Um, it's not something I'm gonna be trying. I was already kind of on the fence because of the dextrose. That is a serious miss for me. Um, sorry, Skinny Salami, I'm not a big fan of, of that. But again, that's one of the great things about getting these boxes is that uh, if you if you have a bad experience, uh, number one, I can probably reach out to the keto box folks and let them know that I had a moldy salami and then see if there's something that they'll do for me. Uh, but then also, you know, it's better to have that experience and know, oh, this product isn't really something that I want long term rather than to get, you know, two dozen of them because you had to buy them in bulk. Um, Again, this crate so far has had a couple really great things in the goodies mix and the dang chips and the mini cookies, but I'm going to jump into what's next is a Just the Cheese snack pack. I've had quite a few sort of cheese crackers, cheese chips. Um, I haven't had Just the Cheese. I've had Wisps and I had, you know, Moon Cheese. I've had a lot of variety of those. So I'm always down to try a new one. I think there's, um, there's that really heavy sort of a natto flavor that sometimes they have uh that kind of like coats your mouth kind of flavor and uh so it'd be interesting to see you know if i can find one that has a little bit less of that or if you guys have a recommendation please let me know but we'll jump into looking at the as i put it up here for you guys to take a look at um 
so it's just cheese and then it also has a natto for color um it's gluten free no msg no wheat so a lot of things that they're uh, sort of noting that they don't have which is great um fat is eight uh, carbs are one, protein is five, so pretty decent macros, especially for something that's, um, you know, cheese-based. Cheese does have a little bit more macros than other things. I can see that this could be, like, a potentially good, like, movie snack treat or, pardon my, pardon my teeth here. Um, I can see that this could be a, a pretty good, like, little pouch size. I wonder if they sell them in this size or if this is just, like, from sample boxes. Um, Let's get into it. All right, so this flavor, what flavor is this? Wisconsin cheddar. I should, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't have Wisconsin accent jokes in this. Um, so if you're from Wisconsin, I love you and I love your cheddar and I love your cheese and you're great people and I love you. Um, so it's, it's very tiny, so it's not something, uh, a lot of the ones that I do like are ones that are kind of like longer crackers that you can use to either put like egg salad on or tuna on or I mean, cheese on cheese, but can use as kind of like a, <laughs> a catalyst for other things. This is just a small little, you know, poppable snack, so. Good crunch, good cheese flavor, not mad at it. Um, I think it's not that much different than a lot of the other cheese products that you have out there, but I think it's something where each one has a slightly different texture or slightly different flavor. So it's something where, you know, once you find out, do you like, do you like crisp cheese or do you not, you'll be able to go in and see, you know, hey, is this, is this the one for me? I really do like this. I would, I would probably buy this brand again and check out if they have other sort of flavors. Um, I found that I've really liked ones that either have everything seasoning uh, or ones that have sort of a jalapeno spice or buffalo seasoning or something like that on top of them. But these are pretty good. Um, next up, we have hemp seeds. I'm very confused by this. Um, so I've definitely done things like before keto, things like hemp hemp oil based or hemp um, puddings, which are kind of like chia puddings. Um, this is basically just roasted whole hemp seeds and sea salt. The macros look pretty, pretty interesting. So it's 18 um, grams of fat, 16 grams of carb, but 14 grams of fiber. So two net carbs, but I mean, that's a, that's a substantial amount of total carbs, 16. Um, if you're a total carb counter, as opposed to a net carb counter, that's probably out of your limits. And then 13 grams of protein. Um, but this could be something which could be like an interesting thing to toss on a salad maybe, like instead of like a sunflower seeds. Let's let's give these a try. I've actually never had like roasted hemp seeds like this before. So I'm kind of curious. They're very teeny tiny here. Let me actually bring this up here so you can see. So it's on the back it says hemp power. Um, I'm confused why the name of the company is Interstate Bait. Makes me feel like maybe they're a bait, <laughs> bait company moving into the keto lifestyle, but let's try these out. Oh, good crunch. <laughs> it's like you get one big pop out of them and then they kind of stick in your teeth. But I mean, you know, they have kind of like a nutty flavor. Um, kind of like that sunflower seed kind of vibe. If you're someone who like makes, um, yeah, I can see how these could be pretty good on top of like a salad or, you know, maybe as like a, those are interesting. I will totally eat more of those. That's, I mean, so far this box has been pretty good with the one dud. Um, let's jump into what else we got here. Okay, so Strive Biltong. I love Strive Biltong. It is, there are a number of flavors. Buy them on Amazon. Uh, you can find them in other like health stores or sometimes in Whole Foods. Amazon has them cheaper. Um, the one thing you do have to watch out for is almost all of them have raisin concentrate. So it's something you want to be cautious around if you have dogs in your house uh, that they don't get that because, you know, Grapes and raisins aren't great for dogs. They have, that will cause you some issues. 
I do find as an aside that there's a good number of keto things that you really have to keep away from your dog whether they have xylitol in them or raisin stuff in them or grape stuff in them um, or garlic or onions so you know or tomato items so just be very cautious uh, with making sure if you have a pantry that you keep it closed or if you put things in the cupboard that they're inaccessible you know just make sure that you're taking care of your fluffy ones um, so biltong is great it's a type of jerky that is basically um, really low in sugar and sweeteners they don't put as they do in other things soy products on them usually they don't put um, they basically just salt them and maybe there's a little bit of coloring which I guess the raisin juice does in this one um, but no MSG, no nitrates, uh, the macros. So there's two servings in this container. It's actually, I mean, that's a hefty amount of meat if you're just, you know, wanting something to chew on. So I'll just give you the, the amount per container because there's two settings here. So per container, it's one gram of fat, which is probably leaner than you'd want on keto, but it's only two total carbs in the entire bag. It's 36 grams of protein. If you're someone who is trying to save off hair loss or trying to or has a hard time getting protein in. Um, you know, Strive Biltong, it comes in a lot of flavors. It's super great. I'm actually just gonna open because it's really good. I think also it's, um, one thing to note is Strive in particular is a little bit more of what I call like a chewy Biltong. Some of the other Biltongs I've had are very, very, um, very, very dry. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not like beef nuggets. Um, it's definitely still pretty dry. Um, but, let me see. So it's pretty thin and it's 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 got a little bit of chew to it. It doesn't completely disintegrate in your mouth. The flavor is great. Um, highly recommend. Uh, what else we got? This has been a great box. I think this box is like $25. And between the goodies and the biltong, it's like pretty much paid for already. So everything else is kind of gravy. Um, next up we have front porch pecans. Uh, these are just basically sea salted pecans. They just have pecans. Peanut oil, not great. And sea salt. Um, but I mean, that's fine. Uh, total fat, 22 grams. Pretty good. Um, and this is for, there are four servings in each container. So 22 grams of fat, four carbs, three fiber, so one net carb, two protein. I mean, sea salt and pecans, I don't think you can really go wrong, but then again, I had a, I had a moldy meat stick, so let me, let me at least make sure that everything seems on the up and up. It's just an excuse to eat snacks. Who doesn't love snacks? Um, so just to, you know, simple, they don't seem to have any kind of casing or coating, it's just, it's not so much salt that it's kind of baked on. Man. That's pretty tasty. The Hans don't get enough love on keto. I mean, they have great, great fat amounts. That's pretty tasty. Uh, the next thing we have here, and I'm only giggling because it's an MCT bar, um, and I'll tell you why in a second. So this is an MCT bar. It's salted caramel flavor, I think it's in. Caramel sea salt. Um, so, salted caramel. Uh, the macros, <laughs> I apologize, I have to turn it upside down to check them out. Um, 19 grams of fat in it, uh, 11 grams of carb, nine fiber. So you're talking about two, which is straight sugar. It doesn't have any sugar alcohol. So two net carbs and 10 grams of protein. Um, let's look at the ingredients. So, ooh, so it does have, so it starts with the almond butter and then chicory root fiber and then collagen, cacao butter, MCT oil powder, uh, soluble corn, corn fiber, which I know some people feel a certain type of way about, or they like it, or they hate it. Um, it is something that is very much on the fringe of being keto. Um, this is probably one that I will try because for me, I'm still getting used to MT MCT oil. Um, it's still at the phase where even small doses gives me incredible stomach cramps. Um, so it's something where I just, I would, <laughs> wouldn't want to share it with you right now. Um, if you guys have tried these and had good success with them, or you feel like, um, you know, you have a secret tip of how to improve your MCT tolerance faster, let me know. The one thing that is weird, I'm not sure if it's this or something else in the package, um, or in the box, but it's kind of like leaking oil. So that's weird. Um, so this one was probably one that I won't try and I probably won't recommend just because 
MCD is something where you have to really work your way up to it and I'm just I'm just not there yet and if other people love it then please let me know um, especially if you love this product but in a different flavor or you think I should try it later you know I'll always come back to stuff next thing here is and there was certainly something that was oily and I'm guessing it's that MCT bar because it's not the nothing else had that kind of like sheen of oil on it but the, there's a Ketology um, chocolate shake so far the only shakes that I've had I've had um, Nutri Keto sh shakes I've had Keto Chow I've had um, Zone Perfect Keto shakes I've had the premier ones that I used when I was just very very getting started um, I haven't had Ketology I know that some people love it, um, some people don't. I will totally give this a try and see how it goes. Uh, the one thing is that I'd be curious about, one thing that I love about Keto Chow is that it doesn't have the fat in it um, sort of as a powder. And so you can choose, you know, are you a heavy whipping cream person or a butter person or an avocado oil person? Like you can de determine how much and what type of fats that you want to add into it. Um, this does come with 25 fat already in the powder. Uh, looks like it's mostly coming from coconut oil. So maybe this is leaking, I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, how could a powder be oily? But it's very oily. Um, 25 total fat, 14 carbs, seven of which are fiber and seven of which are erythritol, so it should net out to zero. It's 300 calories in a packet. Um, it, it suggests that you add water or unsweetened nut milk. Um, so I haven't tried Ketology yet. I will totally, you know, toss it in a butter bottle later this week and see how it goes. Um, and then I'll update the thread below or if it's really good, I'll probably run a series where I try each of their flavors, um, which is something I'm doing with Keto Chow and I'll be sharing that soon. We are nearing the end of the box here. I think this is my last item in here. So this is a pack of cauli rice. Um, everybody loves cauliflower rice. I think that it's it's a great substitution if you are someone who loves rice or you want to mash it down into sort of like a mashed potato-esque texture. Um, this is basically a microwave or saute, you know, long life product. Uh, it just includes 100% cauliflower. So it has cauliflower macros, which are basically, for keto's purposes, generally like zero or one net carb, depending on, you know, whatever butter and stuff, cheese you add to it. Um, this is one that is, is definitely one I will be trying and I will put in the notes how I fared um, or how it fared. Uh, I think cauli rice is something that I usually prefer to get either fresh, um, like a lot of stores now are selling it kind of mixed up, but this would be something that would be interesting to see how it kind of, you know, match it head to head versus a fresh versus a frozen variety. So maybe I'll do something like that. Um, but that brings us to the end of my box. The other thing that I didn't want to share with you guys is outside of, and so again, this came out separately than the keto box. I have these two granolas that I wanted to try with you, or they're called Grapau. And uh, I bought these directly, again, not affiliate or anything like that. Ingredients, coconut, erythritol, coconut oil, pistachios, sunflower seeds, almonds, coconut, um, collagen, stevia. So really good ingredients all around. Fat is 13. Carbs are nine, minus three fiber, uh, minus four erythritol, so around two, um, two net carbs per one ounce serving. So again, if you wanted to sit down and have like a bowl of granola, I don't know if that would fit into your macros, you just have to try and find out. But in terms of my purposes of just, I wanna be able to have something to toss in a two good yogurt or toss, you know, if it tastes really great, like on cottage cheese or something like that, or utilize for maybe making sort of a textural difference on top of something else. Um, so interestingly, they're kind of like these little clumps, almost like cookies. They're less like Natola is kind of like more like a cereal, um, which is another version of this that I've used or another version of like a keto granola that I've used before. Um, but so I'm trying the Amaretto Bliss. So here's here's one of the little like someday I'll get used to this camera and how to actually make this work. So this one does have peanuts if you're if you don't you believe that peanuts are in the no-no zone. 
don't don't touch them. Don't eat them if they're in your no-no zone. Um, but these are supposed to like be PB and J flavored, which I bet would be pretty awesome with yogurt. Um, you do have to be careful because some of these chunks alone are probably more than an ounce. You definitely want to weigh them on a scale um, because that's that's a pretty sizable chunk there. Um, but let's let's take a little more reasonably sized one and give it a try. Oh, that's just a walnut. Is that a walnut or a pecan? Yeah, walnut. So, gosh, these are so big. <laughs> what I'll probably do in terms of purposes for yogurt is I'll probably just toss them in like a small container that I can kind of mash up into chunks. But all right, so they really do look legitimately like cookies. They probably look more like cookies than a lot of keto cookies do. Um, so let's. Hmm. I don't mean to make it sound like it's not good. It is. And I love peanut butter and I love I love PB and J. But there's something else that's in there that's weird. There's something else that's very front front of the mouth. I don't know if it's like maybe I just got like a piece that had a bunch of oil in it or something, or maybe I need to clear my palette. Yeah, because the nuts, the nuts alone don't feel like they have any kind of like coating on them that's weird like that. Yeah, I think I must have just, that tastes really good. So I think I must have just gotten one that like somehow had a bunch of coconut oil just kind of baked into it because all I could really taste was the oil. Um, but other ones that I've had from the bags sort of taste more balanced. So... These are to totally both ones that, especially if you just want something that's a little small texture difference, because sometimes it's hard to get that kind of sandy, blondy, cookie kind of texture. But this box had a lot of really great items in it. Again, I would totally recommend these mini cookies. Um, I would, this isn't from this box, but again, the Grapau is definitely something that I think has a ton of flavor. That Amaretto one has a ridiculous amount of flavor. Um, really quite good um you know dang chips are a standby they're a staple they're great to travel with um, especially because they have higher fat content so you can toss them like in an overnight bag really easily um i haven't tried cauliflower rice or cauli rice from a bag but you know i am a person who likes convenience sides sometimes um i will make this goodies maybe this is where the oil's coming from i don't know man i'm gonna stop trying to understand um but this is this is something I'm really excited to try. Let you guys know how it goes. Uh, again, the MCT bar I will not be trying because my tummy may not like me for it. Um, I may cross that bridge later when I come to it. The Ketology shake I'll probably try sometime this week for a meal replacement. I typically do do a meal replacement at least a couple meals a week. Um, just the cheese, pretty pretty standard but pretty tasty. Um, the sea salt pecans, I would definitely recommend. I don't know how pricey these are, but again, I mean, pecans are usually like six or seven or eight dollars a bag. This plus the goodies plus the biltong, which is like, you know, usually a, a pretty pricey thing. If I remember right, this box was like 25 or 29 dollars. And so just those three probably make up the cost of it. So that's pretty awesome. And, um, you know, then the last thing here was these hemp seeds which they do have like a pretty powerful first pop um and they're not bad i'm not mad at them it's just a, a, it's a thing i've never had before where it just kind of has like a nutty thing and then it's air so you know if you're if you're missing something like popcorn or if you are a sunflower seed eater or you love mixed nuts this is something i would try especially if you want like something with a hard crunch like if you were like a a person who is super into um what is that called no, not like, what is it called? Those like corn nuts. Like if you're super into corn nuts or something like that, you'll, you'll probably like these. And again, my one dud, my, my moldy mini salami, which had dextrose and had higher, you know, 
higher protein than I would have liked compared to fat, especially for a sausage. I, I, I understand for a lean meat like a jerky where you're trying to dry it out and have it be like more of a flat texture. But for a sausage, you know, there's Dukes is a better option. There's a lot of <laughs> better options in terms of, you know, a, a sausage type stick. Um, I would not suggest this. But overall, it was a really great box. I'm totally excited to even, you know, check out this Green Chef thing and see if I can use that gift card. Um, and then, you know, they, I've got some coupons in here that I can try out as well. Um, if I end up really loving, you know what? This annoys me. The, I shouldn't show you the codes because I want, you know, I want to protect the Keto Boxes thing. But of all the discounts that are on here, and most people gave a pretty decent, you know, discount in amount, 15% or higher. The dang, dang foods were 25% off. I will use that code. Um, the pecans were 15% off. If they're a reasonable price, I will go and get those again. Strive Biltong, I already buy, so getting 15% off of that will be great. Um, but of all of the discounts on here, the one that gives the most meager and awful discount, just 10%, is of course the skinny salami. And I'm like, guys, come on. Your your product, your... And it, I mean, does this not look like a dog treat? I mean, it just... Uh, guys, come on. Um... Whatever. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. I hope it helps you make some choices for yourself. If you are trying out the keto lifestyle, there are ways different people feel about, do I take um, a hard stance and eat whole foods only? Do I not eat snacks? Do I snack? And I think, you know, everyone, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a doctor, but everyone has to sit down and make choices for themselves about what they like and what they don't like and what makes this a reasonable continual lifestyle change for them so you know for me having something that's crunchy that's a cheese chip that fits within my macros and that uh is made from you know pretty good ingredients or biltong which is made of pretty good ingredients or you know the pecans which are are just a great um you know fatty nut to have around the house and just a convenient serving size uh, you know, those are all things that for me, I'm really excited to keep exploring and keep trying. Um, so again, this is Tina trying and I've tried this box of things and I'm excited for you guys to let me know what you think and to try it yourself as well. Later. I think that I'm mad about this multi sausage. Guys, it's a multi sausage. You know, I expect that sometimes with the baked goods because, it, you know, you're putting a lot of moisture in the package, but sausage, it's a dried meat. It's a dried meat. They, where's your quality control, guys? Come on.